Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Welcome to our Crochet Podcast, episode 54. Yay, 54! Welcome back to all my returning subscribers and friends. Thank you for joining me. If you're new and popping by for the first time, welcome. I'm glad you did. My name is Krista, and this channel is all about crochet and crochet-related goodness. We do tutorials every week as well as a podcast on Wednesdays and a live community crochet chat on Fridays. That one is at 8 a.m. Central Time on Friday morning, so love to have you join us for that. And if those things are of interest to you, consider hitting the subscribe button below and the notification bell beside that so you don't miss out on any of the fun. So, finished objects or you just want to talk about the empty shelves? <sighs> empty shelves, right? So, <laughs> talking with one of my girlfriends, she was like, oh yeah, well maybe you should, have you thought about painting your shelves? Because they used to just be plain wood, like I hadn't painted them or anything. And I was like, yes I have, but I am waiting for the warm weather. Like it has to be the right time of year or the paint, it takes longer to dry and blah, blah. And then it was like, ding, ding, we're having a heat wave. It's like 35 degrees Celsius, like every day. So I was like, what a good idea. Plus, yes, my ice yarn shipment was coming. It's still coming, but I didn't have it yet. So tons of reasons why to get the old yarn off the shelves, get the shelves painted, and leave lots of space for my new yarn. Yes, I have 50 kilos coming. No, 45 kilos, 49 kilos, something like that. The, what I purchased was 45 kilos, and the shipping weight is 49 kilos. Am I going under the camera like this? I hope not, sorry. Let me hop up a smudge. <sighs> so I dragged, I boxed up all my yarn into like shipping boxes. <laughs> like about three cubic meters of yarn. And I put the yarn that I don't want to see at the very bottom and the yarn that I like closer to the top. And I might see if I'm unpacking it or I'm just going to be done with it. Move on to colors I love and yarn I love. I could adjust this. This looks a bit weird. There we go. Better, better, better. So that is what I have been up to. It was crazy because obviously when you move things, everything is filthy. Everything is like, where am I putting my stuff? I changed everything around again, I know. I have a whole reason to do it, a whole reason behind it, but I'm not telling you until I'm ready, and I have not been, I'm not there yet. But yes, big plans, hatching, getting there, but not yet. Because I just got this back, I just moved the shelves in yesterday morning, and then had to like, you know, it still has a bit of a painty smell in here, so it is not really totally ready yet, but it will be. So, yay to that. Lots of changes going on. Yes, that is my heart bunting. Oh, I guess I should have had that over here. I'll get it for you guys when we do our finished objects, which I guess is now. Oh, okay, let's see. Yes, I did hearts, heart coasters. Tutorial is up on the channel. I did three, did I do three? Yeah, I did more because I was figuring out the pattern, but some are a smudge disastrous. I think that one's disastrous. But I mean, they're cute. And I've actually been using them because I painted my desks as well. And now it's like kind of fresh paint, so I don't want, you know, the sticky cup thing on the paint. So I've been using coasters. Then I'm using red and pink and white coasters on a really cool charcoal gray desk, which I'd love to show you, but it's really messy. So next week, I'll be ready for that. Tour of the yarnery next week. <sighs> Exciting. So I had to, of course I did, make more appropriate colored coasters for my desk. Because my gray, my, my gray is desk. <laughs> my desk is now gray, or my desk sir. Uh, so I wanted to do yellow because I thought that just looked so cute together. And then the turquoise was sitting there and I was like, who cannot use that? So I made six because I couldn't calm down. But what a fun project. So cute and so quick. Like it, by the time, they're just so fast. And then you're, you're like, oh wow, but look, I finished something. Yes, I did. 
So made six of those for my desk. I do not need six. I need two. But I'm going to decide the colors I like. My favorites. Really cute. So finished object. I even did my tails for you th this morning. I won't lie. I just did it right now. But I did. So that counts. And this other finished object I managed. Oh, no, there's a tail on it. Of course there is. One tail. This is my running granny table runner. Oops. Not my best visual display skills. So I just started with this granny square in the center and then built onto them as long as you want it to go. I just put two on each side for a little table runner. I'm going to do a tutorial on it, but probably with like Easter colors. Because by the time Easter rolls around, I mean, it's going to be here pretty soon, right? Feels like it. So that is a finished object, and I just put this little trim on the edge. Just so it's kind of like cute and a bit finished. So I like that. And whips. I don't have one. I'm whipless. I'm whipless. I was figuring out this heart pattern to make a bigger heart. Same as the coaster, or starting the same as the coaster, but then just getting bigger and bigger. Ran out of yarn in the middle of the night, and then uh, life got crazy. We didn't have power for a couple days. I rearranged all of my furniture, blah, 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 blah. So heart, no, it's not in time for Valentine's Day this year, but I will put it in a whip thing for next year. I'd like to be a little ahead. Who knows when that's happening? So that is, that's a UFO at this point in time. Was well, going to be cute. I was like, wouldn't it be cute to make like two placemats? Right? So you could have your heart placemats and then your heart coaster and a little romantic dinner for two. So sweet. Next year. Or just do it yourself. If you know the pattern or if you're cro crochet savvy, just bust it out. Increases on the top part. Easy peasy. <sighs> Acquisitions. Yes, my Amazon came last week, last Thursday, so six days ago. It was great. My fireplace arrived. I think you can see it a little better in the live chats on Fridays because I'm sitting a bit closer to it. It's wonderful. And I also got purchased a new pair of my Fisker scissors. I love these ones because they are spring loaded. So instead of opening your scissors all the time, you just have to shut them. So they're, they're supposed to be for arthritic hands. They're for everybody. These are the money. This is how you do it. These are great. So I have an old pair. I'll show you my vintage pair. They're like 20 something years old. Let me get them. Doo -doo -doo. are my original. Those are from Vancouver. I love them. I think I got them from Fanny's Fabrics, if any of you know, or if it's still around. Fabric shop. Uh, they are amazing. One of my friends is an older lady and she had arthritis and she had all these, we used to do like sewing and stuff together, and her scissors, I loved them. She's like, oh, you have to get them for arthritis. I was like, no, 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 no. You just have to get them. So that is how you cut your everything. And they come in smaller and bigger, so I got a larger pair. These ones, regular like $27, on sale for $6.99 or $7.99. What? It was all I could do to not buy more. What I've heard is the new ones, like the yellow, the white and orange, are not as good as the original gray. Like that these stay sharp forever, which they do. Uh, and these ones maybe don't stay sharp forever. I don't know, I'm going to find out. Acquisition. That was my good deal. And they have a little locking-y thing, so they stay shut. 
Love it. Mixed media. Fabric, paper, and more. Mm-hmm. I'd say. Okay. And of course, I mean, you didn't even have to think about it. Six more packets of my Clover Bent Tip Needles. These are on sale right now as an add-on. For $2.50, you get two needles. So they're $1.25 a needle. What? So I think I have bought in 10 packs so far. Yeah, I got six packs this time and four packs the last time. Every time I order Amazon, I just spend 10 or $15 on needles because they are great and what a good deal that is. So I got a bunch of those and also got one more four millimeter hook. Clover, of course it is. Is it not even helping me here? There we go. So there's a four milli clover, just a spare. And that's all I have for acquisitions that is crochet related. Oh, no, it's not. What am I going on about? Bam. Check it out. Stickermule.com. I ordered them on Stickermule and had them delivered to my freight forwarder, so it came with my Amazon. Are my little pins. Is it gonna? How is that? It's so cute, right? Secret urinary. I thought they'd be bigger. Well, I don't know. Like in your head, I think these are one and a half inch. I didn't want like big ones, but and uh, they're really cute actually. But I could have gone a smudge bigger, just because you can't really read the underneath part. Inspire, motivate, connect, or something like that. I don't even know my own slogan. I just changed it. Yeah, inspire, motivate, connect. Oh, look, I could be Zelda. <laughs> hey, Z, holler to sister. Hmm? Hmm? Who knows Zelda NRJ3? Fabulous. This is me being cool like her. I probably could poke some through. <laughs> oh, she's cooler than me. You should go check out her channel. Anyway, pins. Got those. Don't know what I'm doing with them, but I love them. And let me just scan for more acquisitions. I did get a big light, that big light there. Fabulous, just to light up my shelves. I got two of those. And what else is channel-ish? Oh, my whip bags. I, got, I have bought a bunch of whip bags, but I'm gonna do that separate because that is an actually like an entire ordeal. My whole goal is to get my UFOs and whips all put into zipper bags so that they are, can just be like taken care of and filed in a way where if I want to touch it I can if not everything's together and it's taking up the least amount of space possible so that is something I'm gonna do once I have yarn back on those shelves right I love it so let me show you the heart bunting Da. So just a cute little quick hearts on a string bunting or garland. Do you call it bunting or garland? I don't know. I think I'm, I don't know. Here they call it bunting, but that's probably the British terminology for it. So there's 12 hearts all on a string, a chain. Anyway, I thought they're so cute. And now Sylvia is doing them in all different colors for her craft room. I am jealous, jealous. But wouldn't that be so cute? Or even with um, like different yarns, like all the same color, but different textures of the same color, like fuzzy, smooth, shiny, oh, adorable. So this is already a tutorial. Oh, and also a pattern on the website. I'm trying to be better about patterns. <sighs> so. Something to do, keeps me busy, keeps me on my toes. So that is, that's my crochet life right now. Oh, what else? News, news. What have you guys been up to? My kids are busy. It's been hot. Swimming pool set up, lots of splashing around, lots of giggles and laughs and water play. Lots of water play. My kids are almost done school. Three of them are almost finished the school year. 
which is crazy. I mean, it's February, so I mean, it's great. And oh, the trip the, to the coast, my kids basically want to, they want to go for longer. They want to go for two weeks minimum. And so we might wait for them all to be finished school and then like go for a month or something like that. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But the, as of right now, yes, no, ten, no, ax, bleh. So as of right now, no actual date of when we are going on holiday because there's no rush for it and they might as well finish school and then actually take a, like an actual vacation. So looking into that, because how fun would that be? And I can't wait for it, to be honest. Like I'm so excited. Also excited about my ice yarns, which are supposed to arrive tomorrow. I cannot wait. Yes, I'm going to film it. And look, I have shelves just waiting for it, waiting, waiting, waiting. I cannot wait. I'm so excited. All the most fabulous colors. Ooh, and then like let the crochet begin. So I'm trying, I'm trying to get everything like, well, I'd like to say cleaned up and sorted, but the place is a mess. Well, it's not a total mess, but it's not as clean as it should be. But then I just moved in yesterday, so oh, I'm fine. But I have a lot to do, as I always do. Anyway, that is what up, is up with me. I'll put a little clip after this of going around, getting stuff ready for all of this moving and construction, my big war zone. And I think that's about it. it oh, if you have questions for me, this is my next thing for Friday's live chat. Next Friday, or is it maybe if I went anyway next week I'm going to take you on a tour of the yarnery for this live chat on Friday it is ask me any questions whatever questions you have so I'm going to put up a um, what do you call it like a post on our Facebook page as well as the YouTube page where you can comment with your questions and I will have them all kind of printed out and ready to go for live chat plus you can also join on the live chat and ask questions there as well although it might it's a little harder to see sometimes because not all of the like I do it on my phone so all of the chat doesn't show up it's like it just picks a few people and their chat comes through so if you have any questions for me leave it in the comments but yes Anthony oh for Pete's sake don't come this side let me see. Come this way, though. Don't come behind the camera. Which one? This one. Where is it? What happened? I think I pulled it all out. Then it hurt. I don't see any hurt. It's right here. It's right here. Oh, at the top. Ooh, I'm sorry. Oh, your whole nail, you mean? Yeah, you got to be careful. Mommy did that yesterday. It hurts. Yeah, it hurts. Ow! Ripped off a fingernail. Moving furniture broke, tried, you know, you know, it was like, hey, get out! On the ottoman, did you see? Always on that ottoman. Anyway, it was like a bit still stuck onto my finger. Anton, you're so, go back to Shule. Or be quiet. Okay. Uh, what was I even talking about? Before we got into finger injuries. <sighs> oh yes. So if you have any questions for me, anything you'd like to know about crochet or me or my family or Kenya or whatever you'd like an answer to, leave it in the comments box below or also on the post I'll be putting up on Facebook or the YouTube channel. Yay! That'll be fun. It's like meet the maker. So Trying to find my child. She's very sneaky. Hey! Anyway. <laughs> so thanks for watching everybody. Have a super great week. We'll see you tomorrow for a video and Friday for a live chat, 8 a.m. Central. Have a great week and stay hooked. It is 9.45 on Monday morning. Oh, my lipstick looks bright. I tried to match my outfit and my hat. Uh, I found a guy to paint all my shelves. All my shelves. So I have to go get the paint. So I thought we're going to go to the hardware store together. That'll be fun, right? I love the hardware store. And I also want to get 
if they have it, don't mind my mess. The adjustable feet for my desk to make this one taller. I'm gonna see if they have it, we'll try. Because when the painter calls and says he can come, I want all the supplies ready. So off we go. I forgot to film at the hardware store. I got one gallon, right, four liters of undercoat and two liters of white glossy. Now I came to pick up dog food and thought I would go to my mini Sue store and I'll find something to show you. I don't know what. Oh, I got roses and I'm waiting for them too. They're making them for five dollar. There, I got 50 roses, right? Yeah. 50, so I got hot pink and light pink and orange. Because I'm in an orange mood. So, and then she's like, oh, should I make it into a bouquet for you? So she's making it into a bouquet for me. So I'm shopping around. So I might as well show you guys some stuff. This is the new, I'll show you the new Care 4. Oh, there's gold, huh? So that is the new Max door. Not new. That is the Max door. Oh, I have a big shopping bag. I should probably... Let me take my shop up to the car. Fabulous bakery. It used to be a cigar store. They make the best marzipan biscuits. Delicious. So delicious. You can really be eaten over here. That's my favorite store in the world. It's so expensive. We'll do a walk by. Who's feeling lucky? Isn't that awesome enough? I know. All right. Up to the car. I gotta put my shopping in the car, or else I have to check it when I go into Chanarana. Not Chanarana. Uh, care for. And then I always walk off, I always forget my shopping. So as a rule, I do not check my shopping. Because I will walk off. Not surprising, I'm sure. Oh, can't see KFC, but KFC's way over there. There's like that, there's a stick. Somewhere a gray stick by the yellow tree. That right there is KFC. Which I love. Maybe I'll get dog food at the same time. This is my butt. This is my dog food. Oh, they're busy. Surgery admitting hour. I'll get it on my next trip. Parking lot is cray cray. Cray cray. Okay, I'll catch you in a minute. On oh, my big van. That's my battleship. <sighs> and we have it. Cereals, sugar. Jams and tea. I'll do the tea aisle. Hangover tea. Great to gold. That is my brand. Oh, there it is. These for emergency. 20 cents for when I don't have coffee, which unfortunately happens. Oh, I want to have a peanut butter. Crunchy smooth. Nutty by nature. Oh, and I need it. Okay. 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 Okay
Asian oil. So for prices, you put it in a decimal. Just pretend everything's in pennies. I should eat before I go shopping. Oh wow, whole jalapenos. Good poppers. Milkshake powder. Sandwich spread. Oh, sandwich bread. Interesting. Okay, I think I can three. I do have Oxo brand, but not today, I guess. Oh, I did need a light soy sauce. That one's good for cooking. metal chain. I borrowed the one from the vet and my dog broke it. <laughs> they don't have it. I'm looking forward to that being open. So this is a new grocery store, like a new location. Oh, there's the girlfriend over there. Interesting. I've got these for my kids to try. They didn't really like them too much. To be honest. Look at the roses I got for five dollars. Those roses for five dollars and they were kind enough to take off all the leaves for me so I put them in my seatbelt anyway Caribou Kenya another perk of living here so I got my two bags of dog food my paint, one big undercoat, and two big glossy white enamels. Some organizing, where are you? Organizing containers from Mini Sue. And just my cooler in case I'm getting ice cream, which I didn't. 
Oh. And my roses. Now home, I think, maybe, we'll see. Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Welcome to our Crochet Podcast, episode 54. That's exciting, right? I'm excited. So it has been a while since our, my last, so, what? Am I looking gray? I feel like I'm gray. Okay, probably. Sorry about that also. Should I do my white balance? Let me do white balance. Bam! <laughs> 